roster here. For a guy that didn't play a ton in his two seasons at Michigan State, there's Henley. Yes, sir. Counted in the foul for the Minnesota transfer. Inside, playing through the big fella Churchill Bass, and a tremendous cut there behind the defense. When that ball goes in the post, you can't turn your head. DJ Davis goes down the dig, but turns his head and loses his man on the. And this DePaul team's gone through similar. Uh, a similar thing, Matt, you look at their non-conference numbers versus their numbers in the Big East, there's a significant difference. We saw that Georgetown team yesterday walk into Xavier and have control of the game. Could have won that game. No easy game to, in the Big East. Great backdoor feed, and Fisher with the two-hand jam, the first field goal. At the ball, it happened to Jamil Telford early in the game. It happens to Pierre Brooks here. A good job by... Terry with five. Buries it from the top of the key. Jaylen Love Terry. to see that from Jalen Terry, the former Oregon player. And you look at Jalen Terry, and you're talking about a young man who won state championships in high school, and was a leader for a team that's ranked 64th in the net coming into the weekend. As Terry hits back-to-back -back threes, keeping the ball within striking distance. Yeah, and we know he, he has the ability. Like he had 25 in the game. Uh, a game high in the is his, his career high. Coming into the day, have played every game, but now with Chico Carter out, it's five as they get a tough finish by Elijah Fisher. It's set coming out of the timeout for Coach Stubblefield, a shuffle cut to bring Elijah Fisher to the post. And, uh, and should have beaten Xavier yesterday, and every fan would have counted as a win. Oh, my goodness. Deshaun Nelson for the Butler Bulldogs that to be able to take care of business at home against the ball. Didn't want to slip up and have something happen that you.